Hey y'all, this video is discussing four easy and simple techniques to shading for beginners and anyone who is learning shading, the shading process. So um, here I have my sketchbook in a Derwent Graphite pencil, an HB pencil. You can use any pencil, you don't need any specialty pencil or specialty supplies. This is just showing you some shading techniques when you get further into your shading and drawing. You might need some more supplies, but we'll cover that in further in future videos so as of right now all you need is a simple pencil and some paper so I am using a ruler to get um, four boxes that I will show you the four different techniques that I'm doing we're gonna be doing hatching cross hatching stippling and a tonal smudging technique once again, you don't have to use the ruler. This is just what I'm doing. And if you decide to use the ruler, I am making four one by three inch boxes. So I'm just gonna speed this part up in the video. You can definitely stop and rewind if you need to, but I'm just speeding this part up. And um, we're gonna go from there. We're gonna start the labeling after that. So now we're gonna start labeling our boxes. We're gonna label it hatching, then cross hatching, stippling, and then tonal or smudging. Once again, you don't have to label them, but I would recommend that you do label them because then you will have a nice reference sheet of uh, four techniques that you can go back to if you wanna do some more practice with hatching or more practice with cross hatching and so on, etc. A small side note is to always keep your pencil sharp and make sure that your line quality is always the same and that you are always going to make the same line stroke, which we will go over in another video. But for the sake of this video, we're only going to focus on the actual shading itself. And if you have any questions, definitely just like ask, just ask me in the comment section below and I'll try my best to get back to them. Um, so the way I sharpen my pencil is with an X-Acto knife. Some people use a regular pencil sharpener, but I use that because I can get the tip that I want. For our smudging technique, you can use a Q-tip or you can use a paintbrush. You can also use your finger if you don't have a Q-tip or a paintbrush. It will give you the same effect. So now we are going to start our hatching. So with your hatching, the idea is to make one line and continue to keep making the same size and the same quality line and as you go to make everything darker you want to apply more pressure to your line the more pressure you apply towards the end you will have darker lines and this will create a darker shadow effect now i'm just going to go back through and add thinner lines more lines to make my shading a little bit darker and so it will go from light to dark naturally with just the line and no i am not crossing any lines we'll do that in the next one so now we're going to start our cross hatching with the cross hatching you're doing the same exact method we're doing our small hatching and it's going to go from light to dark and I'm spreading them out a little bit so you can see exactly the crosses that I'm going to be doing. Now we're going to come back and cross over. Same thing as hatching, but going over the previous hatch marks that we made. So now you can see where I cross hatched in the little upper left hand corner where it's a little bit darker going into the right. Next, we are going to go to stippling. And I love stippling, but it is a very tedious process depending on what you are shading with the stippling technique. And here we're gonna start with making small dots. And you're just making dots and dots and dots. And so what you see is in the upper left-hand corner, I'm making a lot more dots than I am gonna spread them out throughout the box. So wherever you're putting more dots, that is where it's gonna be darker. And so it makes a really cool shading effect. So I'm going to speed this part up because of course you don't want to sit here and stare at me making lots and dots in this box.
Now to fill in your last box, you are gonna use your smudging effect. This is where you will need your finger or your paintbrush or your Q-tip. The idea is to fill in your box completely. You can either do hatching, really, really close hatching, or you can do cross hatching. Hatching is the easiest way to do it and filling in your box and adding and applying pressure the more you get to the end of your box. This will create a darker and thicker line quality and will be great for when we decide to smudge. So now, as you can see, I am making sure there are no white spaces. I am filling in my box as best as I can because I will smudge it with my Q-tip. And so I'm getting all the corners, making sure that I'm not missing any nooks and crannies and going around in circles. So um, a good way to do this is to move your Q-tip around so that you're not using the same exact place as the last part you just smudged because what's gonna happen is when you're trying to smudge the lighter areas you're gonna get darkness from your darker areas and you don't want that in your lighter areas so you can see it's getting nice and blended and this is the technique that a lot of artists prefer because they want that realistic look and there's so many different ways that you can smudge this and make it look a lot more realistic I'm gonna go back over it and start uh, hatching some more because I want it to be a little bit darker. And then once I get it a little bit darker, I'm gonna go in with my brush and make it a little bit more blended. So now if you have followed this video, you now have your hatching, your cross hatching and stippling and smudging effect and you have a nice little reference sheet in your sketchbook. I will leave links below to all of the materials I used in this video to create the four shading techniques as well as the I like my coffee, how I like my men sketchbooks. Thank you creatives and beginning creatives for watching this video. Please feel free to like, comment, and share this video with anybody who is trying to learn shading techniques and shading tips. Make sure you subscribe for future videos on art techniques and art tips.